A beautiful fall day. Leaf color is at its peak. In this natural condition, most leaves simply fall to the earth. These leaves stop erosion and build valuable soil. Unfortunately, not all leaves lead such a noble life. Large amounts of leaves in urbanized areas do not return to the earth in the time-honored manner. These leaves land on hard surfaces, sidewalks, driveways, and streets. Some people even rake their leaves into the street. Our street and gutters are actually just small tributaries to our lakes and streams. Unless these leaves are intercepted, virtually all end up being washed into our surface water. Tons and tons of wet leaves washed into our rivers, lakes, and streams can be a serious problem, and in fact is a major contributor to water pollution. It's a problem, but it's a problem we can do something about. First, let's talk a little science. Leaves plus water equals algae. Or to be more specific, leaves and grass, as they break down in water, release phosphorus. Too much phosphorus causes excessive algae growth. We've all seen it. Green water. It's not pretty. As this algae breaks down, much oxygen is removed from our lakes and streams, and fish and wildlife are harmed. Now the city is supposed to take care of this, right? Cities do much, but they can't do it all. The smaller communities share street sweepers and they don't have the uh, equipment and the money to be able to do it all on their own. So that by the time they get out there, everything's already made its way into the water system. We have to recognize that, that all of our storm water goes somewhere. And the fact of the matter is that streets are a tributary to all of our lakes, rivers, and streams. The most effective strategies for improving water quality are really to prevent the problems in the first place. Here's where you come in. With a small intervention at the right time, we can receive big payback in cleaner water. Um, if you pick up five bags of leaves and organic debris, you're removing a pound of phosphorus. The idea is simple. Keep urban yard waste out of our surface waters and the Freshwater Society and the Friends of the Minnesota Valley can make it easy for you. Join or organize a community cleanup for water quality. Here's how you as an individual can, you know, say, you know, I'm doing my part. Anybody can do a cleanup. It's so easy and it's cheap and it yields really uh, significant results for just a really small investment. And it's fun. I mean, it's like nice knowing that you're doing something to help benefit others, you know what I mean? It was also cool to talk to other people that I didn't know before, so yeah. I met new people and that was fun. It wasn't hard at all. Uh, we got 35 bags in maybe an hour or so, and it was fun. This simple program works. We sent out a, send out a, a postcard every year to remind the residents that this thing is coming. It's easy for people to make the to, to take their stuff to the compost heap and, and everybody seems to be in the mood in the spring. So the spring has been very good for us. For over seven years, citizen volunteers in the Minnesota River Valley communities have prevented tons of leaves and grass from entering the Minnesota River. So efforts like this are just of absolute critical importance. It just looks like a great way to help. I mean, I wasn't doing anything else Saturday morning, so I figured like, this is the kind of thing that needs to get done. This says something about us as a people in Minnesota, and it says something about what we think about our own environment and where we live. The pride that we have and the sense of place. The government agencies like mine can't, can't do it all ourselves. So we really need the involvement and the help and the participation of citizens in Minnesota. Sometimes it seems so overwhelming to be able to prevent pollution, but this is a program that is easy to implement. These cleanups are making a difference and you can help. We'll supply the structure and materials you'll need to make your event a success. 
You'll want to promote your water cleanup event using the media. Posters and flyers at local gathering places like libraries, churches, and grocery stores also help get the word out. Most groups will do a picnic or some kind of feed afterwards and it gives uh, people a sense of having done something good and, and uh, community fellowship, if you will. The reduced yard waste pollution in the Minnesota River is already making a difference. Over the seven years that we've done the cleanups, we've had uh, 8,400 pounds of phosphorus that's been removed from the Minnesota River system. And that's equal to uh, about 8.4 million pounds of algae. And is it going to take a while? You bet. But things are turning around. Fish of all types are returning to the river. We're getting great recreational fishing out of the river and also these fish are safe to eat. The uh, frogs that we used to see early on are coming back. We're starting to see garter snakes coming back along the river and they didn't used to be there. The uh, community cleanup program performs two valuable functions. One is in and of itself getting a lot of uh, nutrients, things that are going to cause water pollution to keep it from going into the water in the first place. The second is the educational tool that comes about when people learn firsthand that connection between what happens on the land and what that does to the quality of our water. This is a local prob problem. It's a local solution. Once you've planted that seed, especially with groups like the Boy Scouts, uh, that becomes a lifelong thing. And they have a good feeling they go away knowing that they made a difference. If you or your organization are interested in sponsoring a community cleanup for water quality, please visit us at one of these websites.